Welcome back to the channel. Before I get started, I'd like to say happy Easter to every one of y'all. I hope y'all have an amazing time with y'all family and friends. Be safe, be careful. I wanted to do a quick video for y'all. This is the, my top 10 most carried knives of most of February because I didn't really do this one in February and all of March. Before we get started, these are the four EDC fixed blades that I carried the most often. Uh, of course, the Axial Knives uh, Alpine V2 was probably the most carried. It's just the easiest one to carry. It's already set up the way I like it. I had these new Nebula Fat Carbon inlays. If you have one of these with the inlays, they do have a few left of the Fat Carbon inlays. They got like one Nebula set left. They have Jungle Wear. Uh, they have a Jungle Wear one. They have a Lava Flow and the Black Dunes. There's only a few left. I will leave a link down below. I do have a discount code. It's STASA05. If you want to use that, you don't have to, but I don't know why you wouldn't want to get a, a little bit of a discount. But yeah, I still love this knife, and it's been carried quite often. I've already sharpened it up after the review. Man, it took a screaming edge. And then another one that I've been carrying a good bit, still want to find a different sheath is the Boker Trail Mate. I reviewed this one recently. It's just an easy one to carry. It's comfortable. It's slicey. And I sharpened this one up as well. Took a screaming sharp edge. <laughs> the White River Knives uh, Ursus Cub. Yeah, the review's coming soon on this one. They're sold out at the moment, unfortunately, but I'm sure they'll be coming back very soon. Uh, spoiler, I love it. Just wait for this review. Anything that is available, we'll link it down below. And we have the, uh, why am I drawing a blank? Oh, the TKL Knives, I think it's the Night Stalker. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I've, I started carrying this one recently, and so far so good. Liking it as well. These will be dropping here soon, and I will definitely let y'all know when that drop is happening. Then we have my two dedicated fifth pocket carry knives. These have been in the fifth pocket more than any other ones, especially this little guy. This is the Griffin Co. Scout, the mini Scout, I guess you could call it, the Scout 2. Love it. It's a good looking knife. I like the little small, you know, non-threatening knife sometimes. Got the beautiful combat beads, Altum scale, on, Altum uh, bead on it to match the Altum inlay. Yeah, love it. And then, oh, these are in magnet cut as well. Then we got, this one's a little bit newer, but I definitely love this one. This is a CJRB mini pyrite. This is my third mini pyrite, but this is the premium version. It's got an S90V blade, uh, the Arctic Storm, fat carbon on both sides, mill tie clip. Yeah, these are awesome little utility knives, especially in the little pinch grip. I love it. Get all the way down that tip if I need to do some detail work. So that's my dedicated EDC fixed blades and fifth pocket carry knives I just wanted to show real quick. Now we're going to get into the top 10 most carried. We'll get started with the Kaiser Militaw. This is that the, the special version with the black PVD titanium, the purple haze inlays on both sides, and that beautiful polished, <laughs> beautiful polished DLC. I've been using this one quite a bit, and guess what? You cannot even tell because it's DLC finish. Super tough finish. If y'all didn't see my Kaiser Drop Bear video where I tried to scratch it, uh, definitely go check that one out because that is impressive to say the least. It's a front flipper. I already like the Militaw, even the original one. And this one is even that much cooler because of the DLC blade and the inlay. So that's the first one. <laughs> this one got carried quite often since I've gotten it. Along with this one as well. This is the big boy, the Griffin Co. Scout F 3.5. This is a beast. And I love it because it's super, super comfortable in hand. It's got a broad blade that's nice and slicey. It's in magnet cut steel. I went with the uh, marbled carbon fiber, I think it is, on this one. I think it, it's an attractive looking knife. And I love it. Yeah, I carried this one. And it's, a, like I said, a pretty big knife. And I still carry it all the time. It's, it's not weighing me down or anything. But it's, it's definitely a really cool piece right here. Yeah. All right, <laughs> number three, we got the Quiet Carry Waypoint L, the large waypoint. 
another one this one's just a little bit newer than the rest of these so it, it, i couldn't you know say i carry this one more because I, I haven't been able to because of this because it being so new it's nice and slim sleek and look at that thin blade stock and you have a hollow grind this thing slices like nobody's business yeah, just started the testing on this one, and man, this one has already broken in. Silky smooth. Love it. Yeah, this one's going to be a favorite. I can tell you that now. Van X Super Clean Steel. I love, love that texture on the tie. I do wish they would put it on this side as well, but I'm happy to have it just on there. I think it looks absolutely stunning. All right. Yeah, we've got some good ones on this list. Next, we have the Tuya Knives Wrath V2. They fixed all the things I didn't like about the V1 and made this almost a perfect folder. You have like an orange peel texture underneath the PVD coating. Front flipper that works outstanding. You have another DLC blade with a satin finish underneath it so you can kind of see the grind lines. And this deep hollow grind slices like nobody's business. Super smooth action, comfortable in hand. What's there not to love about this? It, you know, I know it's a premium folder with a premium price tag, but pretty much all these on this list are. And don't worry, I will do another uh, video kind of like this pretty soon with my top 10 most carried budget knives because I have been carrying uh, a lot of budget knives here re recently that I've really been enjoying. The V2 also has that crown spine. Yeah, I love it. Love it, love it. Especially since they fixed the pocket clip. Another one that's been on this list, I think, more than more than once, and that is the Richard Rogers. Is it the SLT? Uh, I forget what they call it. This one's a little bit different, so I apologize. The the bigger version of the SLT. I think it might be the SLT X or something like that, or the X SLT. It's got that cool frag pattern that's kind of like an inlay almost in there. The way they got it milled out. Got the mill tie pocket clip. I like this one so much that I bought two of them. You got that blade window that works outstanding. This blade shape is so versatile. You still have a little bit of belly, but it's not too crazy. You still have a good bit of straight right there. So in-hand cuts are great. If I want to use that tip, it's very easy to do so. And it's not a, a, it's not a fragile tip either. Yeah, definitely, definitely love it. It's such a classy looking design. I know they're hard to get. But if you uh, follow him on the social media, he usually tells you when the drops are. And whenever this drop happened, I accidentally bought two because I was scared I didn't get the first one. But they stayed around for a little while that day. I thought they were going to sell out like immediately. Next one didn't get a whole lot of love. And I'm guessing some of y'all just didn't like it. And that's, that's fine. We have the Two Yen Knives Hellfire, the Skeleton Blade Works collaboration. I love this knife. The action's great. That blade is just different. You got compound ground uh, S90V blade. It's nice and slicey because you got this higher grind up here. It comes out nice and thin. And this one's still nice and thin because you have such a broad blade. It's very comfortable with that little scoop right there. Yeah, super smooth. Whoop. And you can also use that fuller to reverse flick. The only thing I did wish is that they put this inlay work on the backside like they did for the scaphoid. But I'm okay with it the way it is. All right, the next up we have the Devo Knives Stout V2. This is another absolutely amazing knife. Uh, I'm sure everybody who got one will say the same. And I think, I don't know, is he doing another run of these? Hopefully so. So people who wanted them, you know, it is a premium knife with a premium price tag. These are made by Best Tech, I'm pretty sure. This one has the purple haze fat carbon. I love that mill work on the bolster. And the action on these is outstanding. They have a deep, deep hollow grind. This thing is, look at that, super thin at that tip. All this is super thin. It slices like nobody's business. These are in Vanex Super Clean. My One of my favorite steels because I live here in the South. It's, it's one you don't have to worry about rusting on you. It's a nitrogen-based steel. This one has an excellent choke-up spot. It's very comfortable. Yeah, this one, they nailed. They nailed. They always nail it. I love me some Devo knives. That's why I did my collaboration with them. Colin and uh, Lefty, both of them, super nice guys. And I'm so happy to be working with them. All right, we got three more left. Next up, we have another Tuya. This is the Tuya Knives. Wow, why am I? Oh, uh, Shocker. And 
If you didn't watch my video, mine had absolutely no issues with the lock. Excellent action, excellent reverse flicker. Another one with a deep hollow grind. They went with 20 CV on this one, and it held up great. It's nice and comfortable. It's a nice medium-sized knife. They got some of the best jimping in the game on this one. It grips a hold of that thumb, and you're not going anywhere. Yeah, I, I like this one a whole lot. And like I said, I think Jared just got a lemon, so it happens. Not a big deal. And uh, mine has been flawless. If it had, if, if there was any kind of issue with it, I would have just con I'll contact Dave. But you know, I'm not worried about it. And I think I'm sure Jared got his resolved as well. So love the knife. I'll keep carrying it. And if anything ever happened, you know, of course I would let y'all know. But I, I don't see that happening with mine. I got good lock bar pressure on it. It seems to be a okay. Now this one has been carried. A whole lot kind of like the Kaiser Militar and it's another Kaiser and that's that Kaiser drop bear that I reviewed with the Nebula fat carbon I love that if, if I'm gonna have the fat carbon I like the Nebula fat carbon in the 80s because I'm an, a product of the 80s <laughs> uh, super smooth of course I, I have sharpened this up after all that destruction testing that you still can't even really tell I did anything with this knife the s45 held up amazingly and this one took a screaming screaming sharp edge i mean it's hair whittling I, i'm not gonna even do the the fingernail test when i say sharp on another level super smooth love the drop bear one of my favorite designs from kaiser if not my favorite yeah excellent blade shape on it as well last but certainly not least we have the microtech socom elite you I mean, know the was it socom bravo mini Something like that. I'm sorry if I messed up. I'm trying to get through these because we got family coming. Yeah, I, I have to say this one's made overseas by Reich, and they they nailed it. Uh, everything on here is done perfectly, almost. The action, the detent. You know, they they did whatever the the thinnest they could with such a short grind height. It still manages to get down decently thin. It slices well. The only thing, the only thing I don't like on this knife is this pocket clip. It's rather, rather stiff, rather stiff. Um, I may, I may put some relief lines underneath there. I'm not sure, but I still been enjoying carrying it. It's perfect for my size hand, my medium size hand, and you could even fit a large hand. I still got some room. I think it's an attractive looking knife. It's a pricey one, but you know, sometimes that's what happens whenever you get a premium knife. So, that's everything that has been in my pockets over the last month and a half. Uh, you could, let's just call it two months since uh, February, March. And a lot of awesome ones. Y'all let me know what y'all carried. Uh, y'all can just let me know what y'all carried this month the most. And maybe what y'all carrying for y'all Easter carry. And, uh, like I said, if... You know, premium knives aren't your thing or way out of, these are way out of your budget. I, I totally understand. Don't worry. I do a lot of budget stuff as well on the channel. If you're new here, don't get scared off by the premium stuff. Uh, don't worry. I started with super budget knives myself and this is what happens after you've been in the community for a while. <laughs> so I will be doing that budget video as soon as I can. If you have any questions about anything in particular, feel free to ask me down in the comments. Like I said, I will link whatever I can down in the description. I hope everybody has an outstanding Easter today, and I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.